jolly Christmas is the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street. Hey everybody, um, this is Matt and Mandy, and we just wanted to wish you a massive, massive, happy, loving holiday. And uh, I was shocked by the <laughs> fanciness. <laughs> this is where you say your part. All right. And a happy 2021. Hi guys. Um, I, I've, I have had the pleasure of reading some of the comments, uh, at the top of the show. And let me just get a few things straight here. Um, I am incapable of the fanciness that you have just witnessed. So just off the top right now, let's, let's thank Lewis Hackvath for, uh, helping us out here. Y'all know him from the supernaturals got talent shindig we had. He's a, he's a tech guy extraordinaire, uh, and he's in Australia. So thank you very much. Uh, I would like to also say uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, we've got a lot of fun stuff planned for today. It's not just your average stage it show. If you want one of those, tune in this Tuesday to see 41st uh, version of uh, Quarantine Tuesday. But... Um, I would like to just say thank you, and I would like to sing a Christmas song for y'all. Holly jolly Christmas, the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Holly jolly Christmas, you walk down the street. Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. Hey ho, the mistletoe hung where you can see. Somebody's waiting there, kiss her once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas, in case you didn't hear. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Um, you may be asking yourself, self, why is he singing Holly Jolly Christmas when that's Richard Spade Jr.'s song? Because... Merry Christmas. Uh, because he sang a different song. So I would just like to say that here in Bowling Green, Virginia, uh, the whole town's coming out for this Christmas. This is actually the parade behind me. They're throwing candy really fast because um, they're going really fast. Um, but I would just like to say we're going to have some recorded stuff, some live stuff, some music, some fun things. I would like to play this next video for you guys uh, just to say, you know, Merry Christmas. Hey, everybody. Um, this is Matt and Mandy. And we just wanted to wish you a massive, massive, happy, loving holiday. And um... <laughs> <laughs> this is where you say your part. Right. And a happy 2021. I, you, you, can't, you can't deny that it's funnier the second time. I've watched that video probably 50 times. Um, and it makes me laugh every time. And Lewis agreed with me that it's funnier the second time. So I wanted to make sure that you guys had that opportunity. Um, for the show itself, uh, as you can see behind me, oh, you can't see that part. There are um, various uh, sundry gifts, very Christmassy. Uh, and I'm going to be sending some of those to random folks, the top 10 tippers right after this show, we're going to have a little zoom, uh, chit chat. And, uh, I can tell you that I appreciate you and we can just hang out for a little bit. Uh, next up we have, um, 
the actual rich contribution. And he happened to be in Nashville filming a little something, something. And I happen to know somebody else that lives in Nashville. So it just made sense to show you guys what happened next. After that, you have a classic Gil McKinney. You don't get more classic than this Gil. And I uh, don't know why the next guest after Gil continues to get cooler every year. It's really weird. I don't understand how it happens. Um, but yeah, enjoy these next few videos, please. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Jason Manns. Um, Emma Fitzpatrick is over there on the ukulele tonight, and my name is Richard Spade. We're coming to you live from Casa Fitzpatrick, the amphitheater in Tennessee. Oh, just tell everyone where I live, Rich. If you it. go past the church, you've gone too far. <laughs> Circle back. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's on. Oh. You're live. Um, hello, planet Earth. Welcome to the Jason's Man, Jason's. <laughs> Welcome to the Jason Man's Christmas special. I'm Emma Fitzpatrick. And I'm Dick Spate. And we're here to give the dulcet tones oh. of the Emma and Dick experience. Yes. It can only be found. <laughs> that is on Pornhub or... <laughs> God willing. A two, three, four. I really can't stay. Oh, Dickie, it's cold outside. I got to go away. But Dickie, it's cold outside. This evening has been, been hoping that you'd so it. freaking nice. I'll hold your hand if you've been holding My ice. mother will start to worry. Beautiful, what's your My hurry? father will be pacing the Oh, floor. it's weird that you still live with your parents. So I really, I gotta scurry. Beautiful, please don't oh, hurry. Maybe just to have a drink more. Get some records on while I pull. The neighbors might faint. Oh, Dickie, it's bad out there. Did you roofie this drink? There's no cabs to be had out there. We're in... I wish I knew how... Your eyes are like starlight To break now. this spell. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks like I hell. ought to say back away, Emma. Do you think that I should move closer? At least I'll lie and say that I tried. Not in these COVID times. Really can't stay. Oh, baby, don't hold out. Baby, oh, it's, it's cold, cold out. It's cold. try too much harder than that and it gets weird exactly right? speaking of getting weird everybody we want to say <laughs> happy holidays to hey everyone merry kwanzaa yes happy merry kwanzaa isthmus to all of you out there mm -hmm. and to jason manns for putting this together we say kudos to you for making us figure out how to get you a video in inclement weather yeah over distance but we did it say I'm turning into Santa? No. Maybe Richard Spade Jr. I don't know. In all seriousness, I miss you guys so much. 
hopefully 2021 can bring us all back together. In the meantime, I'm wishing you and yours a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Right, buddy? Bye for now. Christmas and uh, Happy New Year and uh, lots of love from me to you. Thanks, Jason. Hi again, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm going to play this tune uh, because I, I like it. It's very Christmassy to me. I sure do like those Christmas cookies, sugar. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. Ones that look like Santa Claus, Christmas trees, bells and stars. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. Now Christmas cookies are a special treat. The more she bakes, the more I eat. Sometimes I just can't get myself to stop. Sometimes she'll wait till I'm asleep. She'll take the ones that I didn't eat. She'll put the, those little sprinkly things on the top. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, sugar. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. She gets mad when they're all gone before she gets the icing on. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. Now the sprinkly things, they just make things worse. Makes them even better than they were at first. And they're impossible to resist. Now some disappear to who knows where, but I make sure that I get my share. Kids just stand there waiting for the ones I miss. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, sugar. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. She gets mad when they're all gone before she gets the icing on. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. Now there's a benefit to all of this that you might have overlooked or missed. So let me tell you about the best part of it all. 
Every time she sticks another batch in the oven, there's 15 minutes for some kissing and some hugging. And well, that's why you Christmas cookies all year long. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, sugar. Sure do like those Christmas cookies, baby. She gets mad when they're all gone before she gets the icing on. I sure do like those Christmas cookies, babe. Uh, if y'all are not familiar with that song, then you probably don't listen to old country music. That's a George Strait song. Uh, but I love it so much. Um, okay, so next up, we have a few more guests. Um, the first one was actually a, a special guest at my Christmas uh, show many years ago, which some of you may have been at or been watching on TV, on the interwebs, not TV. And uh, she was very, very pregnant at the time. Uh, and it just so happens that both she and her son have now performed in both of my Christmas specials. So there you go. And then after her, my friend Raina is gonna knock your socks off and she wanted me to make sure that you knew that she's wearing sunglasses, not because she's awesome, but she is awesome, but because she had eye surgery and her eyes were uh, a little bit bloodshot and by a little bit, a whole lot. So she wanted me to make sure that you knew that's why she's wearing sunglasses. Uh, and after that, we have a special guest that you may or may not recognize and I'll just let him tell you what happened. Enjoy. Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa buddy, 54 convertible to light blue. Here we go. I'll wait up for you, do Santa buddy. So hurry down the chimney <laughs> tonight. Can you press that off the video? Yes. Think of all the fun I've made. Hi y'all, my name is Raina. I hope everybody is having a safe and happy and healthy Merry Christmas. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. everyone so it's uh christmas with friends it's also christmas with covid and christmas with 2020 problems so um anyway a little story uh jason asked me if i would uh, contribute a little something to your charity event and um i said sure i've got a song for you and i'd love to send it across 
of course, last night. Uh, computer crashed and um, lost it all. So, in the spirit of Christmas, in the spirit of Christmas 2020, seems pretty appropriate. Um, so that's my Christmas message. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, and uh, sorry I can't be there, but uh, Christmas for dinner. So. So uh, you may or may not notice right now on the screen that I have some company. Uh, please welcome our friends. Happy Merry Year. Christmas, guys. Yes. Yay. Happy Merry, all. Lovely to see Excited you, Excited to be celebrating this with you. I love it. Yeah, so, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I realized it was Saturday uh, <laughs> and tuned in. I didn't know what day it was, so. Ruth, where are you Skyping or Zooming in from? I'm Zooming from the back of my bed in Scotland. I was wrapping um, the presents for the people downstairs, my mum and her husband, Chris. I was wrapping their presents secretly over here when I realised it was Saturday. <laughs> Zoomed in from there and it's all good. I've got my scissors, I've got my sellotape. What else do you need? And, and where are, how about you, Rachel, where are you? zooming in from. I, i'm zooming in from the great new york city um mm. and uh surrounded by my books and my plants which is basically i think i will become either a book or a plant at this point to my family <laughs> <laughs> there are way worse things to become thanks right on so let me ask a question to each of you if you don't mind please go for it uh and I, if I will give you time to answer it. I'll give you time to think about it before you answer it, because I'll answer mine first. Okay. What in your, you know, I'd say childhood, right? Because it changes as you get older. But what was your favorite present that you remember as a kid? And for me, I have two of them. One was a... Uh, uh, the video game uh, Zelda on Nintendo. Oh, ooh. I don't, I can't, I don't know why or how that sticks in my memory, but I just remember being more excited when I opened that present than any of the <laughs> presents I opened that year. Why? I don't know. Um, and then also, I, I, I had one Duke cart, which was, uh, which was pretty awesome until I, I, did not do what I was supposed to do with it and it got taken away. Uh, but the, for that brief moment when I owned <laughs> the Hazard Go Kart. I love it. Sounds like you have Ruth, your do you, do you have, Ruth, do you have yours? I know. I do. I do. Yeah. I hope it's not too long a story. Um, I'm just sitting up beside. This is my companion from my, um, for during my quarantine here. Um, I haven't come off my flight. Um, my favorite Christmas present was, it was a year that my mum and dad had done some work to the house and they'd run out of money and I knew they didn't have very much money and they kind of managed my expectations by saying to me, you know, you might just get a card this year. And at the same time, my aunties, my aunt Leah McFarlane, Jason, who we just mentioned, who uh, yeah, was my favorite auntie, her and her sister were going to Disneyland and they were going to Los Angeles and they were taking my sort of, their sort of niece and nephew who are my age. And I was hearing all about this holiday that these people that I loved were going on and I wasn't going on. And so um, at midnight, my mum and dad very unusually said to me, would you like to open your card? And I opened my card like, just after midnight on Christmas day and it said, pay the bearer on demand one trip to Disneyland. And so that so that they would used whatever money they had left. They didn't go. They couldn't afford to go, but they paid for me to go with my auntie, and um, and that was my first trip to America, and pretty much where I sort of fell in love with America. So that's my best that's Christmas incredible. present. <laughs> that's incredible! Wow. I love that. 
My, I wasn't going to say anything nearly as interesting. Um, much, much more predictable. I always love getting books. Um, I saw your uh, Instagram the other day, Jason, and I was like, yes, that's it. Um, so like to me, the most exciting thing when Christmas is over is the anticipation of what it's going to be like to visit all of those worlds. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, yeah, and I actually got them on the shelf. One of the, my favorites was I got early edition Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Oh. That, like These are some of my treasures. But I love just oh. in general that idea, anticipation of like what it's going to, what I'm going to enjoy getting to read and learn for the year to come. Um, and yeah, so those are, those are always my favorites. Oh, I love that. Lovely. Well, I get a book every year. I always get a book. I, I think that's a really nice tradition. We always give each other books. I think not. You can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Yeah. That too. I remember one year also, I really wanted, I decided I wanted um, a train set to go around the tree. Because mm. I think I'd seen yeah. it in movies and stuff. And so I was really excited. My parents got me that. And every year I would be so excited to put that up. And I would play games and I, the baby, baby Jesus from the crash was part of the games. I don't know. He liked to ride on the train. It was Got the train elaborate. to Jerusalem? I, that's right. Yeah. I don't know. It would, um, it would, have, been a, it would have been a quicker trip, I think. The, yeah. The, 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 um, yeah. I always love that magic. <laughs> that that's time amazing. of year. So. Jason, tell us, you're wearing, you've got a beautiful tartan ensemble going on. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I, I'll tell you two things about it. One, it's the jacket that I wore for my Christmas show that we did in L.A. I don't know how many years ago, five, six, something, I don't know. Um, and it's also, it's, this, it's, a, it's a tartan that very closely uh, matches my family's tartan from Scotland, uh, the McFarland clan, who we have just realized that you, ding, ding. we're, yeah. Yeah, we're and definitely related. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and I truly think if we did the investigation, Speaking, we find actually, out we're all related. Perfect. What's that? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, speaking of Scotland, uh, our next guest hails from that beautiful country. So well, I can't think of a segue. And, uh, and after Paul, we have uh, another friend named Hayden, who everybody knows. And then after Hayden, we have uh, our good friend, Lisa. So uh, you guys enjoy these next few videos. Hey guys, I hope you're all enjoying Jason's show. Uh, I'm gonna sing you some Mr. Grinch music. Let's go. Charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Well, you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You got garlic in your soul, Mr. Well, I wouldn't judge you with a 39 and a half food pole. But you're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You've all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. Yeah. Well, you're a rotter, Mr. Grinch, the king of sinful sots. Your heart's a dead 
Ze meedoen splash met moody kruppels Zwaat dus cringe When you were a three dick and summer crowd And told to do a sandwich with ass in Nick Sow You nazi ate me Mr. Grinch With a nauseous super nouse You're a crooked jerky jockey and you drive a crooked horse, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is in a parting dump heap overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of rubbish imaginable, mangled up and tangled up in knots. the best describe you are as follows and I quote stink stank stump <laughs> Merry Christmas everybody have a great time hi I'm Hayden Lee Merry Christmas and happy holidays and this is our new friendly elf Miss Penelope Pickles she wants to wish you a happy holidays as well don't you she's really excited for the holidays as you can tell um, and really loves this outfit uh, more than life itself. So why don't, why don't we sing him a song? What do you think? All right, we'll let you go. Good girl. The song that I want to play for you is, I mean, it's almost like she never left, right? It's one of my holiday favorites, and I hope you like it. The first Noel the angel did say was to certain for shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep Noel, 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 Noel Born is the King of Israel They looked up and saw a star Shining in the east Beyond them far And to the earth In Gabriel I And so it continued All day and night No well, no well Merry Christmas, happy holidays, have a healthy and safe new year. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, Jack Frost nipping at your nose, Yuletide carols being sung by a choir, and folks dressed up like Eskimo. 
Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loading lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is going to spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Hey guys, um, so our friends uh, bid you adieu and Merry Christmas. Um, they said to give you their love. Um, and uh, we have a few more videos and a few more songs for you guys. Uh, I'd like to play this one. I feel like, you know, you gotta play, you gotta play a classic, right? For a Christmas show. Silent night, oh, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round the young virgin, mother and child. tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Um, so for the next grouping, of folks that wanted to spread some holiday cheer for you guys. Uh, the only ones that may need an introduction, second up are my friends Aaron and Amanda. The vast majority of you know them uh, already. Um, they're always at Rockwood. Aaron's an amazing songwriter and uh, piano player, and Amanda is an amazing songwriter and singer. And uh, everyone else, in that group just needs no introduction. Please enjoy. Hey everybody, Merry Christmas. It's Felicia Day and I wanna wish you all a wonderful holiday season, a wonderful evening of celebration and music. And here are my last words to you. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Supernatural might have ended, but it always will continue because family never ends. Kick it in the ass. That didn't rhyme. Whatever. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry happy holidays to you. All right, take it away. Bye.
Hello. Oh, let me take this off. Should I put it on? I'm going to take it off. Hi. Um, I I'm so sorry that I couldn't join in in the fun Christmas fun today. Um, but I am taking my girl to um, high tea, which we do every Christmas. Um, and it is the only fun Christmas thing that is still open here in Vancouver. And so when I found out, I nabbed a spot. So that's where I am today. Um, but I wanted to send a message saying that I love you all. I miss you all. And my cat obviously does as well. Do you want to come up here and say hi? Yeah. Well, get up here then. <laughs> this guy. Am I right? Um, Merry Christmas. Have the best time during this holidays and know that everything that's happening right now... I am talking. Um, it will pass. Right, Goosey? Right, Gooseball? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Um, anyway, I love you guys. I miss you all. Happy holidays. Um, be grateful for what we have and know that the bad stuff will pass. I love you. Mwah. Are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know they're all wait and see Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lovers, the dreamers and me Who said that every wish Would be heard and answered When wished on the more Somebody thought of that, someone believed it, look what it's done so far. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing, and what do you think we might see? Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell, we know that it's probably magic. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? Voice might be one and the same. Well, I've heard it too many times to ignore it something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. La da 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 Happy holidays, everybody. Now, I'm going to, we are collectively, we're going to give Borja, not, not just a pass, but a, but a thank you. Because I don't, I feel like technically that's not a Christmas song, but it should be. And especially when Borja sings it, it's just, it's, there's too much warm and fuzzy to just not, feel like uh there's christmas happening right there um 
and, and this may shock you as much as it shocks me, but we are nearing the end of our programming right now. Um, it was about the fastest uh, stage it show I've ever played. Um, but that's what happens when, when the friends drop by. It turns into something real fun. So I'm going to play a couple more. Uh, and then maybe, maybe there's uh, something to, uh, to show you guys at the very end. We'll see. I don't know. Sleigh bells ring, I listening in the lane. Snow is glistening, a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the blue bird, here to stay is the new bird. Sing our song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. You may be thinking to yourself, self, there's more to that song. You're not wrong. Um, but when I was warming up, I, I messed up the bridge. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play the bridge. Uh, I'm just going to leave you with the first and second verse, uh, a feeling of, of happy cheer and goodwill. And then I'm going to tell you what some of you may have won. Uh, we got an awesome little coffee shop here in town called The Mix House. It's my favorite. Uh, we got some hot chocolate mix. We got a mug. And the top 10 are going to Zoom with me after this. Um, and then these other presents, they might just show up in your, uh, in your inbox. We have, um, I'll try to find someone that I know has children or just really loves John Deere. This is from the hardware store. Um, my, my son is obsessed with John Deere at the moment, so that's what happens. Uh, yeah. A mug. And we've got some CDs and some uh, masks going out, too. So, you guys, listen. I love you. Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope that these this hour uh, cheered you up a little bit, made you smile. Um, and... I just would like to leave you with this next video, which just really comes from the heart. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for spending time with me and I'll see a lot of you guys on Tuesday. Hey, everybody. Um, this is Matt and Mandy. And we just wanted to wish you a massive, massive, happy, loving holiday. And um... <laughs> <laughs> this is when you say your part. <laughs> right. And a happy 2021.